Hello, everybody. Welcome back. My dog decided to return to me, um, which I'm very happy for. He's sunbathing. The sun is sitting just right. While he's doing that, I wanted to make a little video talking about um, response to a couple of comments from my last video called Praise Thanos Infinite with No Money Spent, which was me getting to Infinite in the month of October um, on my free to play account. I always think it's important to know that you can get to infinite without spending money on this account. And there are two comments that talk about what's more important or another part of getting to infinite that's very important that isn't actually about playing the game. So one guy says, my guy, it's not just Thanos. You failed to mention Mobius and Eliath. Mobius is dead now. Unfortunately, he made this comment before and... Thankfully, I only had to pay attention to the second part, which I thought I mentioned Eliath, and if I didn't, I'm sorry. He is amazing. So I I apologize for not mentioning him if I didn't. Um, all of which are pretty essential to these type of lockout decks. Agree. Uh, this is more of a final form lockout Thanos deck than a free-to-play deck, but I still didn't spend any money. Um, but I understand what his reasoning is because with a free-to-play deck you think oh you know it's just the deck cards that i don't like now without the really big cards more like a starter type of free-to-play deck so i understand where he's coming from and i respect that um I'll, maybe i'll try to do something else anyway he's right uh it's going to take lots of spotlight caches and multiple weeks of waiting for these cards to come into rotation i missed out on eliath with three caches back when he came out and he's barely coming up around next month don't get enough tokens to really spend for the tier 5 cards, and you're better off buying the 3k token cards instead. Everything this guy says, 100%. It doesn't feel like a free-to-play deck. It is a free-to-play deck, because I haven't spent money on this game with this account. And uh, buying like the tier 5 with the 6k tokens is just its too much. Way too much. That being said, the next one is I'm free-to-play. I have all the cards in this deck. It's just important to save for the spotlights sorry, that you want or you need. 100%. And so the thing I mentioned before about what's more important than knowing how to play the game and the strategies there is planning out how you're going to spend your spotlight caches. For these cards, Eliath is the most important, so I would rank him for the number one card to get. Number two, crazy for me, Jeff, barely beating out Thanos. I love Thanos, but I think that Jeff just can go in so many more decks um, where it's just, it's really close, really close. Like they would tie if they weren't so close to that. Um, so I think Jeff is number two, Thanos tied for two, very close three, and Iron Lad would be four. Iron Lad is four because let's just say I had Carnage still in my deck and I played him, hoping to get something better, and I pull Carnage instead. My stuff's destroyed if I needed any of it, and it's just kerplunk. That's the way I would rate them. Now, in order for you to know what to do with your spotlight caches, you can go to Marvel Snap Zone and look up all these, get this picture, and look up all the spotlight caches for the next three months. Now, November, first week of November is Eliath. If you have the tokens or you have the, um, uh, the spotlight keys right now, don't spend them on Werewolf by Night. To me, personally, I think Eliath is better, so I would wait. And if you're able to get at least... If you're able to get four keys, you still have some, 100%, I would wait to try to get Eliath. You can maybe risk it, but I don't want you to end up like this other guy. If you want Eliath, you have three keys, and he's the only one you don't get, and you can't get enough credits to get him by the end of the week. I think he is the best card you could possibly get. And then at the beginning of December, you have Jeff. I don't think these guys, any of them, are really worth saving for. Loki's probably the most. Um, but I don't really see like a need as far as trying to get to infinite. None of these cards are like super infinite cards that can go in like so many different decks. Again, I don't know how Gladiator is going to play out. Annihilus, you need um, a deck kind of around him to a point for what it feels like. Martyr. Eh? She's opposite of Captain Marvel. I don't... She's not going to, like, win you games where she's supposed to lose. So, no. Loki's probably the best of all these cards uh, that are there. So, personal opinion, safe for Jeff. Iron Lad is end of December. 
Um, there's definitely other cards you might want to try to get, like Legion, I think he's really great, or Firestar is looks phenomenal. But unfortunately, all the way through the end of January, you're not going to be able to get Thanos unless it's either through the token shop or the random spotlight cash. All right. Moral of this story, TLDR, if you made it to the end, take your time, look at what cards are coming up. Plan your spotlight cash and don't just be like, oh, I got a spotlight key. Let me just do it because there might be something coming up very close that could help you get to infinite much easier and help you win games and succeed in conquest anything you want to do plan ahead have a plan keep snapping and have fun have a great time guys